Okay, these are the things you need to make your clay oven. You need a steel drum or a reinforcement drum, uh, four bags of clay sand, two squares of garden pots, one garden pot tray, that's a tray that goes underneath the pots, um, one bag of mortar mix, a metal handle, and an oven thermometer. Okay, this is the drum that I used. I used a uh, reinforcement um, tube. They use this for um, reinforcing poles and stuff like that. I quite like this because it also had uh, metal um, around at the outside of it as well. You need two um, terracotta um, pots, big square ones. And also you can see at the back there, that's the uh, bags of um, the uh, clay. You also need to like cut the bottom out of one of the square pots. I used a um, uh, a grinder with a stone cutter on it to remove that. Uh, here you can see that um, I've removed the bottom, and that's what it looks like. You need um, about uh, you know, ten mil off the bottom. Be careful not to cut too much. Uh, on the other one, you need to like leave the bottom in but cut out a square at the bottom. This is where you'll have your fire. It gives you access to it. You also need to cut out a piece on the metal barrel. That is for the, uh, for the bottom for the fire as well. Okay, now go ahead and insert your first pot um, down the bottom of the tube. And that's the one where you've got the fire pit. As you can see there, there's the two pieces cut out, and that's how it goes together. Um, I also used a, um, a paver to um, create an entrance into the fire pit. I've um, covered this with foil and started packing around down near the fire pit entrance with some, some of the um, clay. This uh, helps it from not falling in when you start packing it in. Okay, next you start packing the uh, clay sand around the bottom. Um, what I did was put the um, the tray that you're going to use for the top on top of the first one, so you didn't get a lot of clay in the pit when you're doing it. You just make sure you pack that really tight because this. Um, is your insulation for keeping the heat in, in your oven. Okay, next you insert your second pot directly down on top of the other one and uh, continue packing the sand right around the sides until you get to the top. And you can see that's the uh, fire pit opening down the bottom there. And as you can see, we've um, now completely filled it, leaving um, a room at the top. Uh, that's what it looks like down in, in the middle of the oven. Um, and that's where your fire will go in there, as you can see. Next you need to get your mortar mix and grout the top. This is just to um, seal the whole top so that no water leaks down into um, the inside of the barrel. It keeps it all nice and tidy. Um, I also made a lid. As I said, that's the bottom of the clay pots. Um, and I just inserted a handle and the uh, thermometer in the top that gives you an idea of um, how hot your oven is and you can regulate it that way as well. Now as you can see um, we've uh, lit a fire and uh, I've used some heat beads and a little bit of wood just to first um, uh, you know cure the oven which you need to do for a little bit just to make it all uh, work really good. As you can see that's uh, burning away really well there. Uh, 
I also use the uh, metal part that I cut out on the bottom as a bit of a cover for the bottom of the fire. That helps you also regulate the heat, stop it from burning too quick. Okay, now you can see um, we're actually using the oven and we've used some um, metal rods to um, go across the top of the oven and some uh, metal skewers that hang down with your meat on it or whatever you're going to cook in your oven and that just hangs from the top down, not too close to your fire and uh, you just move your lid to um, regulate the heat. Also you use your little cover down the bottom as well to help regulate the heat in the oven as well. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy building your oven and enjoy um, using it. <laughs>